Welcome to this essential guide on understanding and managing Bartholin's cyst and abscess. As a woman or a healthcare professional, it's crucial to be informed Bartholin's cyst and abscess. Today we will explore the etiology, pathophysiology, risk factors, clinical features, differential diagnosis, investigations, and management of Bartholin's cyst and abscess. In this article, we shall look at the risk factors, clinical features, and management of a Bartholin cyst or abscess. A buildup of mucus secretions can cause the duct of the gland to become blocked, from which a cyst can develop. The cyst itself can become infected, and if untreated, develop into an abscess. The infective organisms are usually aerobic, with Escherichia coli, MRSA, and STIs the most common. Bartholin cysts characteristically occur in nulliparous women of childbearing age. Other risk factors include personal history of Bartholin cyst, sexually active, history of vulval surgery. Small Bartholin cysts are often asymptomatic. If they become large, they can cause vulvar pain and superficial dyspareunia. The cyst can undergo spontaneous rupture, after which the patient typically experiences a sudden relief of pain. Bartholin's abscesses typically present with acute onset of pain and or difficulty passing urine. On examination, a unilateral labial mass will be observed. Bartholin's cyst, typically soft, fluctuant, and non-tender. Bartholin's abscess, typically tense and hard with surrounding cellulitis. The differential diagnosis for a mass in the labial or vulval region includes Bartholin's gland carcinoma. Other types of cyst, e.g. sebaceous cyst, Skene's duct cyst, mucus cyst. The diagnosis of a Bartholin cyst or abscess is often a clinical one. If the woman is over 40 years of age, a biopsy of the cyst should be considered. If there are any indications of a sexually transmitted infection, endocervical and high vaginal swabs should be taken. If the cyst is small and asymptomatic, no treatment is required. Warm baths can be recommended to the patient as they may stimulate spontaneous rupture. Treatment is usually by word catheter or marsupialization. Word catheter, an incision is made into the cyst or abscess and a catheter is inserted. Complications include infection, recurrence, dyspareunia, and scarring. Marsupialization, a vertical incision is made into the cyst behind the hymenal ring. Complications include bleeding, hematoma, dyspareunia, and infection. Less commonly used techniques include silver nitrate cautery, carbon dioxide laser, and needle aspiration. Complete excision of the gland is rarely performed and usually only in cases of suspected malignancy. Note, antibiotics are generally not used in the management of a Bartholin cyst or abscess. Thank you for joining us in this educational journey on understanding Bartholin cyst and abscess. Stay informed and take proactive steps to safeguard your health.